I knew I needed resources if I was going to track down Roscoe Bob Bryant. And hunting plumber looked like a good way to get rich quick. As the local vigilantes exposed him as the leader of the bandits and put a generous price on his head. Plummer rallied his gang to plunder one last gold mine before making their escape. And that's where I thought I'd find him. As my late father pointed out to me more than once, God made men, but Samuel Colt made them equal. I knew that dynamite wasn't mine, so I decided the polite thing would be to return it. It was the biggest gold rush since Sutter's Mill in 48. Unfortunately, prospectors weren't the only ones drawn to those riches. There were thieves and killers, robbing travelers and hijacking gold shipments. Like those that ran with plumber, some were just regular folks I knew from town, drawn by greed and easy pickings. Charlie Crow is a blacksmith. Plummer had a lot of men on his payroll. A hell of a lot. That son of a bitch pretended to protect the public with one hand while stealing them blind with the other. Of course, the rest were veterans of the Civil War. Stone cold killers trained on the bloody fields of Shiloh and Antietam. He set up a defensive perimeter which I had no idea how to breach. Dangerous, desperate individual. I was outnumbered and in way over my head, but I was too damn stubborn and stupid to realize it. I thought I was some kind of hero. I finally made it past and headed on to meet my destiny. But first, I had something I needed to figure out. I had a few ideas on how to get into that mine, but once I made my decision, I knew there was no turning back. So my first thought was to enter the nearest mine portal. I saw an entrance. Made sense. Let's it was the that. quickest way in, but that also made it more dangerous. As there would undoubtedly be enemy pickets posted along the way. Besides, once you enter a mine like that, it's easy to get all turned around. And that confusing maze of corridors wouldn't even be the worst of it. Some of those shafts can be as deep as hell. A single stumble or misstep can easily end in a deadly plunge to oblivion. Reflexes often make up for a lack of common sense. Uh! Luckily, I was never one to be easily bushwhacked. I would just need to be careful not to blow myself to kingdom come. One wrong bullet could have turned that mine into a dad blasted tube. I freely admit my plan of attack was not just moronic, but clearly in the sight.
It's a good thing that I abandoned that ridiculous plan before I even tried it. Instead, I spotted a ladder, a way into the mine from the opposite side. It was a long way around, but that approach seemed more sensible at the time. Of course, being I had a problem with heights, that scaffolding scared the bejesus out of me. Climbing down that ladder required some caution, because even though I had a younger man's reflexes, no man can dodge a damn bullet while climbing down a rickety ladder. I needed to make a leap of faith. Easy when you're suspended between heaven and hell. I was determined not to give up, however. As Sheriff Plummer seemed quite the despicable character. When the vigilantes discovered what the sheriff was up to, people were outraged. That 10,000 they put on his head would go a long way to help me find old Bob. And I had made it my mission to settle that score come hell or high water. But first, I would have to make a choice. Take the elevator, or climb the ladder. I picked the more convenient and more dangerous route. Plummer was a mad dog killer, and the people of Nevada City deserved better. Nevada City? Well, I thought Plummer met his maker in Bannock, Montana. Right, well, he was a sheriff of both places at one time or another, but that's neither here nor there. The point was, taking him down would save a lot of lives, including my own. Henry Plummer was clearly unhinged, and I could see right away that this was going to take some time. I can show a fool! to blow you into next week, boy!
That's how Henry Plummer died. Him and his crew were worth their weight in gold. And now, I was officially a bounty hunter.